Hi, Utodi Zoku. This is Imari from the Always Utodi blog. Today, I'm sharing some clips from a recent thrift store and Dollar Tree trip. I found a lot of cool things that I will be using in upcoming videos on the channel, so I'm excited to share what I found, as well as a few sneak peeks into upcoming projects. One of my upcoming videos is going to be shell decor DIYs. So I was excited to see a lot of shell decor at the thrift store, and in fact, I ended up thrifting a lot of shells for my upcoming video. Another project I have on the horizon is an office makeover, which I'm hoping to do with an African theme. So I'm keeping an eye out for items that fit within that. I thought there were a lot of unique vases at this thrift store, and I really liked this bronze one in particular, although I didn't end up getting it. I did end up getting this basket, which I thought had a beautiful shape, and I think it might also work in my African themed office. That wood vase was also really nice and turned out to be from West Elm, so I ended up grabbing that as well. And I have no idea what this is, but it was fun to spin. If anyone knows what it is, please let me know in the comments below. And here's another giant shell. I was having a lot of luck finding shell decor at the thrift store this time around. And this was an interesting art piece. It was signed on the back and looked like it was $995 originally. These are really nice lanterns. Often they cost around $100 from Crate and Barrel or the likes. So if you can find something similar at a thrift store, that's a great find. This was also a really nice cast iron pan for about $15. Those can be quite pricey as well, so thrifting them can be a great option if you're in the market for a cast iron pan. This is a mug I've seen at TJ Maxx for probably around $20, so it was here at the thrift store for five. I really liked this tray, but the corners were a bit beat up. I really liked this copper teapot, but I didn't have a use for it, so I had to leave it behind. I also saw some colored glass here and at another thrift store. That style is becoming more and more popular, and I've seen colored glasses on Anthropology. So if you can find something similar at a thrift store, you can save a lot of money. I thought this was a really nice chair, and it looked to be in pretty good condition. It was only $70, and it was beautifully carved wood. There were a lot of nice wood pieces like these dinner trays. I was considering them for an upcoming project but decided to pass on them. And I'm glad I did because I ended up finding something better later on. I thought this chest of drawers was really cool and intricate. This is another nice piece as well. I ended up grabbing this basket as well as a few others. I have plans to do a basket wall and to paint it with tribal or African designs. It's a trend I've been seeing in a lot of home decor stores, but they're very expensive, so I wanted to do it myself. I thought this was another unique piece. I'm guessing it was maybe from the 70s, but it had a little bit of a Victorian look to me, and that's another style that I'm keeping my eye out for when I go thrifting. Next, I made a quick stop to Dollar Tree. I didn't find a whole lot, but I did find these really nice placemats, which I'm going to be using for an upcoming project. So if you see any at your Dollar Tree, you might want to grab them now. Just to give a little hint, the seafoam green color is supposed to be really trendy for the 2023 holiday season. I also grabbed one of these plaques for my upcoming seashell DIY that I mentioned earlier. I also grabbed some of these charger plates for upcoming holiday projects. The next stop was my local Goodwill. And let me tell you, we found so many awesome items. We were trying to walk out with the whole store. It was definitely one of the best thrifting days I've ever had. So a lot of the fashion that we feature on the blog are actually thrifted. I usually shop at ThreadUp. This isn't sponsored by the way. However, it never occurred to me to look at local thrift stores for fashion. So that's what I was doing. And I actually found quite a few cute things. We're currently working on trends for 2024. So I was keeping my eye out for upcoming trends that we'll be covering in editorials but I didn't find too much at this particular thrift store. I did find this really unique kind of tribal belt, which I grabbed and hopefully we'll be able to use in upcoming editorials. I absolutely loved this mirror. It was only $14.99 and I think it was a great steal. Unfortunately, I just don't have the space for it in my home, so I had to leave it behind. 
I did end up finding this really interesting wooden art piece shoved in the very back of all the pictures. Since I'm keeping my eye out for African themed things, this was something I brought home with me. I thought this was a cute little chair with a fun print and I'm just noticing it had rockers on the bottom too. I've been keeping my eye out for a birdcage for a long time, so this ended up coming home with me. There were a lot of really nice wood pieces at this Goodwill, and also some really great art pieces as well. This table had a light built into it, which I hadn't seen before and thought was interesting. Surprise, it actually turned out the mirror I had seen earlier came in a set of two. Both of them were $14.99, so that's a pretty good deal for such great mirrors. There are also a lot of really great and unique lamps this time around. I've been to this Goodwill several times and it's been kind of hit or miss, so I was really surprised to find so many awesome items this time around. This lamp is beautiful. Unfortunately, it's not fitting in with anything I'm working on at the moment. If you're ever looking for large vases, the thrift store can be a great place to find them. Not sure what this was. Perhaps it was some kind of fermentation jar, but we ended up getting that as well. I love the shape of this vase and that little woven basket detail on the neck. And this was another great find. We hadn't even finished going through the store and this was the state of our cart. So we took a quick break to evaluate everything we had and make sure that we were getting things that we actually wanted. After that, we kept looking. I found this piece interesting because we had gotten something similar from another thrift store. I'm not sure if it's a candle holder or what, but it has a little bit of an African theme. I found some more colored glassware. This thrift store seemed to have a lot of it. I really liked all of this vintage music rolls. Unfortunately, I don't really know what I would do with them, but I thought that was a really interesting find. And here's a ton more colored glassware. I think you could make a really interesting summer tablescape inspired by anthropology using glassware like that. Savers was our final thrifting stop. I decided to check out the jewelry and accessories section because I could use some statement jewelry. I found two nice pieces that I ended up bringing home. I thought this piece was interesting since mermaid core and siren core are fashion trends this summer. Personally, I thought this was a bit scary, but I had recently watched a YouTube video where someone had removed an old decal from a tray similar. So I was wondering if it was possible like with that? this one. I was also looking at these old magazine holders for an upcoming DIY. The magazine holder is what I went with instead of the dinner tray I mentioned before. I thought the material this suitcase was covered in was really interesting. Unfortunately, it was kind of falling apart, so I left it behind. I thought this was a really nice laundry basket and usually they're pretty expensive. I really loved this tea caddy, but I don't have any space or use for it, but I definitely think that's a cool find. This dynamite box was really unexpected and also kind of cool, or maybe kind of scary, depending on how you want to look at it. But I thought this was another interesting find. There were a few interesting decor pieces as well. And I ended up finding another giant shell. I wasn't sure what to think of this basket. It looked like wood, but it was soft. It was certainly unique. I thought this was another really nice basket, maybe for harvesting from your garden. And these lanterns were fun too. Very rustic. Or you could paint them for a fresher look. And here's another really nice lantern. I also don't know what this was, but it's interesting. Maybe to hold candles or something? This looks like an outdoor weather thermometer, but I'm just not seeing the price at $34.99. That's pretty pricey. This is a really nice iron candle holder. It's got a really great form. 
I thought this dress was really cool because it's not often you see people of color in fashion shirts like this. I really like the shape of this face. It would work well as an art piece as well. And this face with the giraffe print was also tempting, but I didn't end up getting it. These are some other nice faces. That middle one has a really nice design and this teal one has really fun shapes. I was considering these blocks for another DIY I have in mind, but I decided against getting them this time. I really enjoy looking at dishware while thrifting. These plates were Mikasa brand. I was really tempted by these, but I really don't need any dishes right now, so I left them behind. I thought these might have been another Mikasa branded plate, but it turned out it was JCPenney's, which I was really surprised by. I did like the design, but I also left these behind as well. Now these plates were Endure collections, which I haven't heard before, but they have a similar look to the other Mikasa and JCPenney's plates, so I thought they could possibly be Mikasa as well. I'm not sure if these were supposed to be cups, mugs, or bowls, but I think the bright colors would really work for summer. I thought this was a pretty soup bowl. The brand is John Maddock & Sons. After some Googling, I saw a full set of this brand was selling for $500. So that might have been a good piece to get if you enjoy collecting china. I also thought this wood bowl was really nice, but I didn't get it. And here's some more colored glassware. This bowl also caught my attention and it turned out it was Threshold, which is a Target brand. It would make a great centerpiece on a table. This copper teapot was also really fun and unique. I ended up picking up a couple of these plate holders. I'll try to use them for my basket wall DIY. These are some really beautiful chargers that are pretty affordable. And I thought these were funny since they looked so similar to the ones I had just gotten from Dollar Tree. I found some great clothes at this thrift shop as well. For example, this Michael Kors dress, which was only $18.99. I thought this dress was really unique and it looks like it's from a Korean brand. This was a brand new Lisa Marie Fernandez dress. It still had the tags on and everything. It was originally $60 and it was being sold for $18.99. I did go home with this dress. This was a really nice plaid blazer and I really like the double pocket detail on the side. We made it. That was quite the day of thrifting. If you made it this far, let me know in the comments what items you would have grabbed while I show you what I brought home. The first item is this West Elmwood vase. I have a space that I want to turn into a living room slash studio slash office. And as I mentioned previously, I'm planning the office part to be African themed. I think the space could work well in the space. It's modern, but the wood brings some of the natural elements that are often seen in African home decor. There is a small crack, but I think the vase could be turned so you don't notice it. So I've got a nice collection of baskets going. These small plate holders would be perfect to paint and use for a basket gallery wall similar to this one that I saw at Pottery Barn in January. Those baskets were $249 for one and $499 for a set of three. That's unbelievable. So I'd say at $2.49 a piece thrifted, that's a pretty good savings. I plan to use this basket for the same basket gallery wall DIY. However, I likely won't start on these projects until 2024. I really like this basket and plan to use it in the African themed office. It would be perfect to hold some cozy blankets or to store other items. I think all it really needs is a good cleaning. I got this basket because I really like the shape and think the weaving is unique. I think it has potential to work in the African office space, but we will have to see. I plan on painting this one black or at least a slightly darker color. This is one of the finds I'm most excited about. I mentioned that the space I'm planning on redoing will have a living area as well as office. For the living room, I am working on a modern Victorian theme. I've been keeping my eye out for a vintage looking birdcage for that space. They are often pretty expensive, so I just had to get this when I saw it. The plan is to put a plant inside. This could use a bit of work, some of the wires are bent and the paint is peeling, but it might also add to that old Victorian feel. 
so we will see if I end up giving it a fresh paint job or not. I really love this base. It does have a few scratches on one side, but I can just hide it by turning it around. I think this would work well for the African office space. I really like the mix of raffia and ceramic. I think it makes this a really unique piece. I got this magazine rack for an upcoming DIY for the holidays. As a hint, I'm planning on decoupaging this. So now would be a good time to remind you to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on my upcoming DIYs. This vintage lamp is so cool. I'm planning on using it as a set design piece on another channel I run with my brother called Mission to Munch. We do food content there and are getting ready to film a second season. This was such a cool art piece that we found. My mom is currently redoing her bedroom, so I have a feeling this piece will go with her. And these are the chargers and placemats I got from Dollar Tree. I'm planning on keeping the placemats the same color, but I want to paint the chargers. These are going to be used in an upcoming holiday place setting. These are all the accessories I found while thrifting. Keep an eye out for them in upcoming fashion editorials. This bag was a super cute find. It was only $6.99. I don't have a specific editorial that I'm going to use it for yet, but I'm sure you'll see it pop up. This is another piece I got that I don't have a specific use for, but I just thought it was a really cute denim dress. Now this one I got thinking about a trend I'm trying to cover in 2024. However, things have changed. I'm not sure I'm going to be doing a full editorial on it, so we'll see what happens with that. It did look really cute with that bag I got though. And here is that Lisa Fernandez for Target dress I got. I believe it was originally $60 and I got it for $18.99. And with that, we've made it to the end. Let me know what items you liked best or what you would have brought home with you in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. 